Oh boy, I don't even know how to start this video. I guess I just start talking. Okay, so yesterday I was watching the Game Awards and I wasn't expecting much. I wanted to see some games. I wanted to see maybe six song be announced, maybe a new Ghost of Tsushima, maybe uh, BT from Kojima, but I was not expecting to see a God of War game being announced. So when I saw Kratos, I I was going nuts. I was like, wait a minute, DLC? And then when I saw, I mean, I saw you know the, the music and I saw Kratos, I was like, okay, wait, don't tease me like that. Don't be about Atreus. But guys, there is a new DLC coming for God of War Ragnarok. It's called Valhalla. It's going to be centered around Kratos and only cradles which means you won't have to fight with companions now this is amazing news because it's going to be a deeper more personal journey because apparently he's going to be facing people from his past i don't know if that extends to greek mythology i don't know maybe we get, we get to fight um zeus or even i mean Ares. i don't i don't think so but maybe the previous um valkyries because we can tell by the end of the uh, Ragnarok that some Valkyries are they are rogue now so maybe we get to chase them I don't know but this is amazing news also also keep in mind this is a free DLC coming out on December 12th it is like I don't know when this video is going to go out so four days give or take a free DLC coming out for one of the biggest game on PS4, PS5, this is huge. Honestly, I was rolling on the floor, jumping in my chair because I love God of War Ragnarok. I love a lot of things about the game, even though I dislike plenty more things about the story and the, the decisions that they made. But this is going to be centered around gameplay and around Kratos. And just think about it. Why do you play God of War? Because of Kratos. And Knowing that the story, I mean, the new DLC is going to be centered around him is amazing news. And also, I heard that you wouldn't have to, you don't have to complete the game first. You know, there is no uh, completion prerequisite. No, you can just jump into the DLC right away. And again, I, I can't stress this enough. It is free. You don't have to pay anything other than the, okay, I do need to mention that you need to own the game first. Yes, you need to own God of War right now first if you want to play the DLC. This goes without saying, but you know, people are weird. Anyway, this is going to be a brand new take in the series because it's, it's going to be a roguelike. And I think maybe people are not familiar with the, you know that kind of approach. But usually you start off with nothing and you gradually make your way toward, I'll say... Uh, a goal which sometimes it never happens sometimes you never get to the end you just keep evolving keep upgrading until you get bored and decide to play something else but i'm guessing i really want them to make something which is limitless but i don't know if it's going to be the case i really hope they do because then it's going to give us um a way to just keep playing the game until we again until we just get bored which may never happen but uh i don't know i don't know if it's going to be the case so, so, what do we know about the DLC other than the fact that it's coming in three days and it's a free DLC? Well, um, first of all, you don't, again, like I mentioned before, you don't have to beat the story if you want to jump into the DLC. But it is recommended as there might be some spoilers. So, yeah, so beat the game first and then jump into the DLC. But because they said you don't need to beat the story, maybe you don't need builds or even armor or new game plus i don't i don't think any of it is going to be relevant i do think you can carry over your cosmetic like the the way your armor look you know but i don't think it's going to be useful in game i think you're going to start with base equipment and you will gradually make make it uh i mean upgrade your starting kit until i mean the more you play the dlc so i don't think which is i don't, I don't know i feel like it's okay you know, if we just start anew, instead of just starting overpowered and having to destroy everything, it's going to be a brand new journey. So it's better to, I'll say, experience it with, ah, like a beginner, you know. Because I have completed the game three times. 
and I mean twice on New Game Plus. I'm pretty busted when it comes to builds and strategy, so I think it's, it's not too bad if I have to start all over again. You know, I don't want to destroy everything. And by the way, I also think there's going to be difficulty. Difficulty options, you know, just like in the base game, you know, give me mercy, give me balance, give me God of War. You know, maybe they won't be called exactly that, but you would have different difficulty options. And I don't, I don't think it's very common when it comes to roguelikes because usually you have one difficulty and that's it. But I, I guess they were trying to make it, um, I don't know, <laughs> more accessible to more people and I guess that's okay. So if you want more challenge, then you choose the higher difficulties and maybe it's tied to your rewards. So basically if you play the game harder, then you get better rewards. I hope they go that route as opposed to just, you know, it doesn't matter what difficulty you play. I really hope they do something about the difficulty because I think I think this game shines when it's very, you know, when you play, <laughs> when you wait when you just want to kill you, I mean to 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 suffer. Yeah, if you just want to suffer. Something else to keep in mind is well, yeah, like I think the the armor you get in game is only going to be cosmetic, it's not going to affect your stats. So it's going to be all skills, which I love. You know, I think this game has great combat. I love switching back and forth from between Dropnir and the blades, even the, the the axe. And I think focusing on the combat is what they should do moving forward. You know, the story is great. I mean, to some extent, but I think doubling down the gameplay is it's a great call. You know, giving us more ways to play. And oh boy, I think people, everybody should be excited about this. You know, no companion, nobody to tell you that. You know, sigil arrows don't work on this. You know, nobody to spam that. Nobody to. I mean, you, there's still Mimir to tell you to uh, to block. Or, uh, but to be honest, I think Mim Mimir is he, he's he's okay. You know, I would take Mimir over anybody else any other day. You know, Mimir is great. He's okay as long as he can shut up when I'm fighting. I'm good with it. And also, so I don't know if there's going to be a leaderboard. Maybe, maybe not, because usually in roguelikes, because it never ends, well, there's a leaderboard to tell you who went the farthest, you know? I don't think there's going to be a leaderboard because I, I don't see Sony doing that ever for a game. I mean, they did that for Returnal, so maybe they might do that for... I don't know, it just, it just doesn't feel like God of War. But maybe, maybe I'm wrong, maybe, maybe they're going to prove me wrong. I want to be proven wrong, you know? I want my name up there, <laughs> you know, I, wa I want it up there. I can play for days. Oh boy, I'm very excited. I think you should be excited. So if you, if you enjoy the game, I think this is great news. And also you don't have to pay for anything other than for the game, you know? And I'm, and I'm thinking if you were excited about the DLC, it's because you already own the game or you are planning on playing the game, so. This is great though, you know, they tend to make those games and just forget about them, you know, those triple A single player experiences, they just make those games and they just move on to the next project, but I'm happy we get to do more. And they also are doing more with The Last of Us, but also it's, it's, it's kind of locked behind the paywall, you know, you have to either pay for the remastered version of The Last of Us 2 on PS5 or you have to pay 10 extra dollars for the PS5 version if you had a PS4 version. But anyway, I feel, I feel like I would rather just keep playing those games than having those new games which suck, you know, uh, you, you know what I mean. Maybe you don't, but it's okay. So December 12th, 2023, <laughs> they even teased the date, I was like, no, please don't be 2024, they were, I was like, wait, it's coming for, I, I still can't believe it's coming out next week, I can't believe it, that's so soon, and I love it, so God of War, Ragnarok is going to come back in the discussion, and, oh man, I, I'm happy, and I hope you are too, I'm Jisoo, and I'll see you very soon, I'll see you next week.